Hi there, this is Taylor Rohr for Reichenham Community College's SEC 110 course. And in this video, we're going to go over the basics of using ARP, ping, traceroute, and IP config. Now, what is ARP? Well, it simply stands for Address Resolution Protocol. Um, it associates the physical hardware address of a network node to its already known IP address. And in addition, it displays, adds, and removes ARP information from network devices. And as you can see, I have my command prompt window open, and we're just going to go ahead and run the ARP help command. And what this does, this brings up some of the different switches um, you can use um, for um, an ARP request. And for this, um, we're just going to simply use the dash A command. And there it brings that up. Now what you're seeing from this output is you can tell which MAC address is assigned to which IP address. Now for example, uh, we're looking at the router's IP address of 192.168.1.1 and as you can see it gives the physical address outside of it. And here's a page that I came across on the Microsoft website that gives some basic information about the ARP command. It goes into a little more detail and it also goes over some of the switches um, that you can use. Um, actually, um, the switches um, gives the information um, about those and it simply just gives you the information um, that you're, um, you can get just by using the help command at the command prompt window. And next we're going to look at the ping command. Now the ping command is used for two basic functions. Um, it's used to find out if you can reach a host and it also is used to find out if a host is responding. Now this is probably one of the most common command line utilities along with traceroute and ipconfig. And ping is really useful um, when you're trying to tr troubleshoot a network problem. And I've got my command prompt window open, so let's go ahead and um, just for simple purposes, we're going to ping Google. And it's replying back with the IP address of 74.125.67.105. Um, so at least we know we can get to Google. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the help command for ping. And here you have the different switches um, that you can use. There's a helpful website that I came across a few days ago. Um, it goes over some of the switches um, for ping, um, similar to the output that it gives um, that you get when you use the help command in the command line window. And next, we're going to look at the traceroute utility. Simply put, traceroute is a command command line utility uh, that will show you every router interface that a TCP/IP packet passes through on its way to a destination. Um, it also will indicate the time that it takes um, for each attempt. And um, down here at the bottom I also had the syntax listed for it as well. And I've already got my command line window open back up. So let's go ahead and do a trace route um, with Google. And I'm just simply using Google's I, um, web address. Um, sometimes, depending, um, it can take a minute or two um, to complete a trace route. And a lot of times, if it takes uh, too long, that means it's, it may be encountering um, some problems during its um, during its traveling. And um, it seems to be moving pretty well right now. Um, looking at this correctly, uh, we started out, well, of course, the 192.168.1.1 is the router here at the house. Um, so we started out there. Um, we uh, started, well, I think, I guess we went to Greensboro. Um, I actually tried uh, using Traceroute earlier, and it's interesting to look at it um, several times back to back um, because um, a lot of times you're not going to go um, the same way twice. Um, earlier I used Traceroute and um, I actually went to DC uh, and if I'm looking at it correctly um, I believe um, right here um, I, think, I believe that may be Atlanta if I'm not mistaken. Um, so it's interesting um, to see where you can end up. Um, 
another interesting thing to do is um, do a trace route um, google.com or excuse me .co .uk. and it's interesting to see where you may end up going uh, when you go to the UK address uh, once again we're starting out with the router at 192.168.1.1 uh, going through Greensboro um, I've actually performed this um, trace route before and um, I believe one time I ended up in um, Holland I believe and see uh, right there um, we ended up in DC again and it seems to be taking a little longer uh, for this Alright, so there we have it. Uh, we just um, completed the trace route um, for the google.co.uk. Uh, once again, we started out um, here at the house um, with the 192.168.1.1. Uh, went to Greensboro, um, to Washington, D.C., and from there, I'm not exactly sure um, where we went. Um, I have done, like I said, I have done this before, and it's given me results um, where um, I ended up in, um, using a router over in um, Holland. And once again um, with any um, command line utility uh, we're just going to do the help command and what this does this brings up the different switches uh, that you can use. And here's a website um, it's actually based uh, with Cisco website cisco.com and um, it goes over some of the basic trace route commands um, that you can use as well. Um, gives you um, a brief description as well of the switches. And next we're going to look at the IP config command. Now IP config is probably the most common uh, that you're going to hear um, most often in the networking world and along with ping and trace route. Um, for this, um, it's an NT, Windows NT utility used to display a machine's current configuration and it also refreshes dynamic host configuration protocol and domain name system settings. Um, and down here I have the syntax uh, for several um, IP config switches. IP config all which um, displays all TCP IP configuration information and then I have IP config slash release which releases all TCP IP configuration information attained, obtained from the DHCP. Then I have the IP config slash renew, uh, which releases and then renews all TCP IP configuration information um, attained um, from a DHCP server. And I also have the command, um, or the help command, which displays the valuable or the available switches and a description of each. And I've already got my command line window open so let's go ahead and just use a simple IP config and what we're looking at here is the IP address of the machine that I'm currently using uh, which is .1.102 uh, gives me the subnet mask and also the default gateway. So what we're going to do is do the help IP config help command and it brings up all of the different switches that you can use as well. And here's a website that I stumbled across a few days ago which goes over some of the basic um, IP config information. Uh, it also shows you some of the same results uh, that you will get by using the IP config um, help command. So there we went over the basics of using the ARP command the ping command, the trace route command, and the IP config command. Thanks.